Hi, Doug Mercado again with another episode of Filipino Martial Arts and its influence on the world premier designers. With me today is master, if I can say, Michael Janik, you know. And Michael is one of the workers now with Spyderco and he is one of the pioneers of the videos you find on knife fighting. And the beauty of that is it translates to the design that you do to make it effective and everything else. And I'm just honored to be able to meet up with him and let him explain to you some of the things that have influenced what he's done. Let me ask you, how did you get into Filipino martial arts? I became interested in the Filipino martial arts early in my martial arts career. I went to my instructor and I said, you know, hey, can we learn something that's a little more realistic, stands up to, you know, to a real attack? Uh -huh. And he said, if you want to learn how to defend against any weapon, learn how to use the weapon. And I heard references to the Filipino martial arts, Kali, Eskrima, Arnis, but there was really no openly available information at the time. Anything that I could find, any little nugget of information I could find on the Filipino martial arts, I just was obsessed with it. And then as Dan and Osanto's information came mm -hmm. out, his six volume video series, uh, as things became more available, anything that I could find, I just tried to make it part of my own personal training. The formal training, my strongest formal training, was in Serata, and that was my second tour in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I was working for an organization looking for POWs and MIAs in Vietnam and Laos. So I got a second tour in Hawaii, uh, found a gentleman by the name of John Lau, who had trained with Jimmy Tocoso. Jimmy's lineage went directly to Angel Cabalas, mm -hmm. so I had a very strong... A strong uh, lineage strong right lineage there, yeah, nice, nice. One of the original blades that I had was a Spyderco. Again, and here at the SHOT Show to talk about the influence of the knife designers that are 